Let me have a quick conversation with you about the highest paying truck driving opportunities. And to this conversation, I want to assist on the fact that we are speaking about opportunities, not necessarily jobs. Okay. So it's, we're not, I'm not going to talk about companies here. I'll be talking about opportunities. So when we talk about the highest paying truck driving opportunities, the first one, you have a concierge luxury mover. So if you are in the trucking industry and you want to really uh, make a lot of revenue, you want to th think about uh, concierge luxury movers. And when we talk about concierge luxury movers, the average yearly the average or yearly salary is unlimited. And uh, to do this job, you'll probably have to start out working as uh, a moving van driver, and the pay there will be modest. But it's all worth it in the long run. It's all about uh, playing, uh, actually uh, running a marathon here. It's not about having a sprint. And the goal is to end up with a luxury moving company or to work independently and uh, cultivate your own client list. And we are talking about, uh, you know, basically uh, drivers that work for the elite, celebrities, and the ultra wealthy. So I'm talking about, you know, all all the gamers, all the all the NBA or the, uh, the NFL or the uh, so all the uh, MLB uh, players, okay, among others, of course. And so those drivers are responsible for it, taking care of millions, if not billions of dollars of merchandise, sometimes invaluable works of art are their responsibility. So you can see the cash is, re is really there. So knowing how to manage these valuables, having the insurance to cover them, and being the most responsible and well-respected driver in the industry is a job requirement. There also needs to be a commitment to service from start to finish. So you gotta be really a service oriented here. And uh, so there are pros and cons of being a concierge luxury movers. The paychecks can be huge, but the expectations and responsibilities are equally gigantic. Then uh, you have uh, the private fleet trucking. That's the second uh, highest paying truck driving opportunity. So we are speaking here about, um, if you work for a private fleet, I mean, the average yearly salary is around 86,000, going all the way to $90,000. If you work for a private fleet and, and uh, you are owned by the company that needs to uh, needs you to ship their supplies, you are familiar with the big boss companies and often see uh, their branded trucks whizzing down the road. And uh, these are the private fleet trucks, and they use the same truckers to haul their goods. And big box stores actually uh, were mentioned because they are the most familiar to many people. There are a lot of other companies who uh, that actually prefer to be responsible for their own trucking and shipping. That means that there are many options there. And the pro, pros and cons of being a private fleet trucker, well, being employed for a private fleet is typically a good job with a steady income. And that's what you want anyway. Healthy benefits, of course, so you have reliable work. You won't have to uh, own your own truck, but you'll also be uh, saving that expense and you don't have to worry about where to park when you're not on the road. However, this often also uh, means that you have even more rules and regulations you need to abide by. And you don't get to be a, a driver owner so that's really what it is boss welcome back to the show it's really a pleasure to have you here make yourself comfortable you are going to enjoy today's conversation i want to talk to you now about being a tanker like a being in a tanker liquid hauling driver so the average salary here, the average yearly salary is around 72000 going all the way to 80000 depending on the, the states where you are hauling from. And moving liquids and gases uh, requires a skilled tanker driver. Getting a tanker endorsement is a, is a key to getting one of these good paying jobs. It's a special skill and has its own dangers. Many liquid haulers have to make several stops before their trucks are full. This means what? It means they need to be able to drive with partial loads. This might not seem like a big deal until you understand that if they're driving a good, a food grade truck, they are unbaffled, which means that there are no brakes to, to slow any movement of liquid. This can be quite dangerous as the momentum of waves inside the tanker picks up. So if you want to be a liquid hauler, but are looking to make even good more, even more money, if you will, than getting qualified for hazmat. So we are speaking about Cazeros loads could be a way to do that. Of course. With the additional pay comes a lot of additional safety risks, and that's kind of important to really mention that here. Now, what are the pros and cons of being a tanker liquid hauler? Well, tanker tanker liquid haulers um, often enjoy large paychecks and, a, and an abundance of work, but they also have to deal with often stressful and dangerous jobs. You also have a haul truck driver. That's the fourth highest paying truck driving opportunity, and the average salary, the average salary per year is around 61000 
going all the way to $75,000, depending upon uh, the state we're talking about. So if the idea of getting additional trucking certifications appeals to you, that's where you will find the money. Another trucking job that requires more training and proving that you are able to handle the load is oversized hauling. And you're, you have no doubt seen those trucks on the road before, usually with a large sign announcing the uh, oversized load. And uh, their loads can range from space shuttles to entire homes and a lot of uh, other things in between. And these loads are usually wider than 8, uh, to eight feet 6 inches, but that can vary a little by state. If the load weighs more than 20, 250,000 pounds, then you are hauling a super load. Okay. Now, what are the pros and cons of being a haul uh, truck driver? All truck drivers generally enjoy high salaries and job security, and they also they also have uh, bonuses though. So the sixty-one to seventy-five thousand dollars that I spoke a little about, that I spoke about earlier, that actually is the base salary. But you have bonuses, you have incentives, and so on and so forth. And but the job also requires a lot of responsibility, not just for the load and the truck, but towards other people on the road with you. Boss, I want to quickly uh, remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about the highest paying truck driving opportunities that you need to know about this year. Talk about team truck drivers. So the average salary here goes from 55000 all the way to 80000 depending upon uh, the, the opportunity. So when you are a team driver, it's the two of you against the world. Well, it's not really, but it's two people who take uh, turns of driving the same truck. The thought, of, the thought is that the two of them can drive virtually nonstop to get a load to its destination faster. Because of the, of the speed involved, your customers are willing to pay a premium, and that's why team drivers can make a decent living. Now, there are pros and cons of being a team truck driver. Team driving can be quite taxing and trying since sleeping on the road is rarely as restful as sleeping at home in, in a bed and the stress of being with the same individual day in and out isn't for some people. But if you can find a, a teammate and make it work, it's a great way to uh, get some experience, if, if you will, under your belt and money in the bank. Then you also have a uh, auto hauler. So uh, the sixth opportunity, that's the sixth highest paying truck driving opportunity we are speaking about. Auto hauler and the average yellow salary is around 51000 going all the way to $70,000. So how about a job driving a vehicle that's hauling a bunch of other vehicles? What if each of those vehicles you were hauling were worth more money than you will make in a year? So luxury vehicles need to be transported around the country for buyers everywhere. And those buyers don't want one single mile of, the, of their pre-ordered beauties. So uh, this is one of those situations where the more expensive your cargo is, the more you'll get paid. But of course, you'll need to have experience, a great driving record, demonstrable uh, skills. That's really important. And uh, with cargo being valuable, the company you work for is going to want you to know you are up to uh, the challenge. Okay, now there are pros and cons of being an auto auto haulers. Auto haulers have to deal with the stress of driving an awkward truck full of uh, high stakes cargo and dealing with uh, weather delays. However, they also uh, work. Uh, they can also work their way up to a high high paychecks and the chance to eventually run their out their own auto hauling business, allowing them to make even more money. Next, I want to talk to you about the dump truck driver. The average salary here goes from uh, 58000 all the way to uh, 88000 So if you're not from an area where there is a, a mining industry, you might not realize what a big business th it is. If you live in one of those re regions and you want to be a driver, then you you probably already consider this field of employment anyway. There is another reason to want to work as a driver in the mining industry if money doesn't entirely motivate you. Perhaps the idea of being able to drive in the in the world's largest dump trucks does. These gigantic trucks are called behemoth dump trucks, okay? And the largest in the world is the Bell AZ 75710, which is housed in uh, Siberia. If you're not interested in moving to Russia to drive one of those gigantic trucks, you are in luck because there are similar large ones at big mines around the world. And uh, the only downside is that you'll never drive these big guys on the road. They are de designed to stay in the mine and move their load from place to place on the property. Now, what are the pros and cons of being a dumb truck driver? Well, many dumb truck drivers enjoy working close to home and working regular hours, but they also have to deal with the drawbacks of the jobs such isolation and highly seasonal and weather-dependent work. Next, you have uh, owner-operator, owner-truck operator, if you will. 
and uh, the average salary goes from seventy five thousand all the way to one hundred twenty five thousand. And uh, it sounds it sounds like this is the way to go if you are in it for the dollar. There are lots of benefits for being your own boss, choosing the halls you want, setting your your hours and your rates. There is also never a boss who is hounding you all the time. That's important in terms of flexibility. And of course, there are definitely downsides to this job too. Being your own boss means you need to do everything or pay others to do it. And that, that can include paying bills, doing maintenance, making sales and finding clients, invoicing, marketing, and everything that el everything else that comes with uh, owning a business. In other words, you are in the in the manager seat. You are in the accountant seat. You are, of course, you can you can I mean, you can outsource part of those uh, jobs, part of those responsibilities. You can reach out, for instance, to a dispatcher, and some dispatching uh, organizations will help you out and with with the back office kind of work. But the cool thing is that you are in control. On top of that, one of the biggest responsibilities when you are the owner operator of a trucking business is the truck itself. Trucks are expensive and they are used heavily. So regular maintenance occurs all the time as do uh, unavoidable re repairs. So you got to be uh, aware of those things. What are the pros and cons of being a truck owner operator? Truck owners operators get to enjoy being their own bosses, but they also have to deal with the insta instability that, co that often comes, if you will, with that as well. Boss, I want to quickly uh, remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about the highest paying truck driving opportunities. Next, I want to talk to you about I want to talk to you about union truck drivers. So the average salary here, yearly salary, we are speaking about fifty eight thousand to ninety thousand. Even though if you work for a big name such as a UPS, you're making all the way to 170000 It was in the news not long ago. And if you, so basically, if you want to skip all the hassle mentioned earlier, then it's best to work for someone else and let them take care of the extra burdens and expenses even better. Join a union and they'll add further protection and benefits. So being in a union means that there is a group overseeing your pay, benefits, working conditions, and all other aspects that go into a job. They are designed to protect workers from unfair working conditions and other abuses in uh, in the workplace. It's important to actually note that most truck drivers are not unionized, so it might be difficult to find a job with a union. It's one of those things where you have to really ask yourself, am I in the right position right now? Am I in the right sort of region? Because when we talk about unionized um, jobs, we are speaking about state-centered state centric jobs in some cases because some states do not allow unions in, in uh, certain industries. Or the company might actually not accept the unions in in uh, on the on the job market on the job on the workplace, if you will. So you gotta really do you gotta really do a little bit of research, and you gotta navigate actually uh, the uh, the the economic uh, landscape to see exactly what's really happening there. Okay, and so you might be lucky. I mean, the, the more you search, the the better you the better your chances of actually uh, landing a job. You know, with a with a unionized I mean unionized company. So, so it's important. So what are the pros and cons of uh, a union uh, truck driver? Well, union truck drivers enjoy the protections that union can offer them and uh, the stability that comes with uh, working for a truck driving company. However, they also have to pay union dues and often have a little to no flexibility in their work because the union actually is in control. I mean, you know, some people love it. Some people love uh, the opportunity to have uh, to have that protection. And some truck drivers might say, you know what, I don't want to really have the extra stress. But hey, listen, it is what it is. It depends on your uh, on your uh, I, I would say on your mindset really here. Next, we are talking about ice road trucker. So this is kind of similar to what I said earlier about Siberia, you know, or you know, supersized loads. So the average the average yearly salary for this uh, job is goes from fifty thousand all the way to seventy eight thousand during season. Okay, because uh, when we when we talk about icing, there has to be a reason. There has to be a season rather. So uh, this is important. So when we talk about ice road truckers, we are speaking about a, a niche industry. So if you've seen the show, you might know a little bit about ice road trucking. It's a dangerous job that that's entirely at the mercy of Mother Nature. And it's one of those things where you got to have skills too, right? You got to have the skills to drive uh, to drive amidst, uh, if you will, those conditions because uh, the weather is not going to be clement to you. If you have inclement weather, 
you had really found a way to uh, navigate your way out of uh, that uh, mother nature uh, mother nature's conditions okay so those drivers face frigid temperatures whiteouts avalanches snow sleet rain and just about anything that can make uh, the roads difficult to navigate especially when pulling a load it's important to really understand we're not just talking about driving in inclement weather we are speaking about driving a loaded truck in inclement weather so that requires extra skills so you might have to uh, have uh, extra endorsements on your cdl that's that's kind of important now for those of you if you're listening to me right now you decide that ice road trucking is your thing so you you typically you typically will make that decision because of the pay there is a season for the job for this type of job and it can be uh, only a couple of months long and your pay is based on the work you do during the season that means that uh, you don't have to work for the rest of the year or you could uh, you could opt for other types of uh, trucking and make even more so the opportunities are really there in terms of uh, in terms of uh, possibility but also efficiency so let's talk about the pros and cons of uh, being an ice road trucker and many ice road truckers enjoy the adventure and challenge of their work as well as the high pay and the high pay is really there and we love the opportunity that comes with uh, with that and the, but it's important though because the downsides of this line of work include a significant amount of danger because we are speaking about inclement weather and uh, very sort of crazy conditions on the road i want to talk to you about the overview here so i give you the top 10 highest paying truck driving opportunities for you to know that today and so the thing is that when we talk about becoming a truck driver in the first place, it's one of those things where you got to have a clear idea of what, what awaits you. So if the thought of earning this much, let's say from 55, 50,000 all the way to $150,000. And in some cases, $170,000. If this thought of earning this much of, um, of, of cash appeals to you, then there are some steps you need to take to get your license and, be, and begin driving. And a regular driver's license simply is not going to be enough and so we are speaking about the following steps to you so you got to get a cdl you got to be a 21 years old at least and you got to keep a, a clean record of course there are other conditions such as uh bond bonding such as insurance but those are the three because the bonding and the insurance another person can take care of it or companies can take care of it but you as a driver you got to have a certain foundation first before you can get into this line of this line of work so when we talk about getting a cdl well a cdl is a commercial driver's license and this is what you will need for one of those large and heavy trucks on the road there are different types of cdls and uh, then there are different endorsement you can get to increase the number of loads you are authorized to haul all of the extras are optional but to drive the big rig you will need that cdl you got to be 21 years old so sadly you have no control of, over this part of your career so the DOT, Department of Transportation, requires all professional truck drivers who cross state lines to be at least 21 years old. This doesn't mean you can't sit around just waiting until you're 21. Okay, the, the smart professional will get their license as soon as possible and then work on adding endorsement or finding a job working within the state to rack up some experience and on the road skills. And you got to keep a clean record. Obviously, professional drivers are going to need to, to show that they are reliable on the road, which means keeping their driving records free uh, to tickets and uh, accidents. But a clean record goes further than that. Most trucking companies will require drug and even alcohol screening. So that's that's important. So uh, And many also require background checks, which can include your criminal record, as well as a look at your credit history. So when we talk about credit history, it's one of those things where you, you can control, okay? Your FICO score, the, the, the truck driving uh, companies that actually uh, require credit uh, credit history, they have a minimum of 600 as, uh, as your FICO score. So they want you to have a minimum FICO score of 600. So if you can hit those uh, three uh, truck driving uh, requirements, then you are ready for a life on the road, making money while racking up miles. So this is really, uh, really, really fantastic. Your liquid hauling, haul truck driver, team truck driver, auto hauler, dump truck driver, owner truck operator, union truck driver, ice road trucker, and I gave you the overview. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.